are doing what I eat in a day vlog and this is a low carb day. My plan for my body goals is to rotate strategies. I had spent so many years working, 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 hustling, 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 around the clock, focusing on these goals, trying to look a certain way, be a certain way. And then I realized, why am I doing all these things? Who is it for? Is it for myself? What is, what, why am I doing this? Why do I need this? Yeah, life is short. What you're about to see in this Ashley 2.0 era is me stepping into my true self, start focusing on my passions more and the things I actually want to do and where I want to be and what I want to bring to the world and what I want to leave behind when someday I'm no longer here. The biggest thing that I thought I would regret is not following like my artistic passions. So the painting and all of that, I'm shifting my focus, I'm doing different things. But I think that is the best part of life is that life is, ever evolving. We are growth seeking. We always want to strive for more and learn more and dive into more. Today we have a busy day. I just dropped off my daughter Clara at school this morning. I'm drinking my fasted ketones. I've got fueled by female here, which they just came out with a new flavor. I don't think it's available yet when you're watching this, but it might be. I will put the link in the description below in case it is. Ketones are extremely helpful when you are in a fasted state really any time of day, but they're extremely helpful on your low carb days. If you're doing a low carb day, I think ketones are non-negotiable because they're really high in electrolytes. They give you back that sodium and they just make you feel great while you do it. I've got a really, really busy day of packaging paintings from this collection that I just launched a week ago. Um, a bunch of paintings sold. I also started doing hand embellished prints. I will take you through my entire day. First thing I did when I got home was print all the labels to package up all of the ketone trial kits that came in overnight. And a really cool kit just launched from Prove It where they have a variety of 20 different flavors. Plus there's also a variety pack of the Pro Shakes, which I also like to drink. So I had three goals of the day. And if I set three goals every day, and I focus on those three, the, the three things that I know are the most important thing for my health, for my goals to move me forward. And if I just hit those three things, you know, you can, it's easy to make a list of like 50 things to do, but if you minimize it down to a very short list, success <laughs> comes easier. So on my short list, the three things that I wanted to make sure I got done today one, my super shake. My super shake <laughs> has everything that I need in there that is just like powerful, powerful to my overall health, right? The collagen, the building blocks for the skin, the hair, the nails, overall health in general. If I drink that every single day, <laughs> there is guarantee it is better for me to have breakfast and have that as my breakfast than skipping breakfast and then ending up with a nutritional deficiency right down the line. As of right now, this is the phase. Number two, lifting weights. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes. If I lift weights every day, there's going to be a powerful benefit to my body, my body composition, my well-being, my mood, my energy, how I feel, how I sleep. All of these things are tied to weight lifting. So right now, I don't want to say I'm in a bulk phase because I'm not really in a bulk phase, but I will welcome the gain of new muscle. And the reason I do it, I want to do it daily is to set up the habit because if I do a couple days a week, I get off track and then I don't come back. Like I need to create a habit for myself. So it's better for me to do a short duration, but do it every day. So I build the habit than trying to do these long, complex workouts. I need to build up momentum. Next is nutritionally. On this day, I'm doing a low carb day. So this shake here is about 11 or 12 net carbs. I'm not really counting the net carbs. I'm just trying to stay relatively low, probably less than 50 carbs in the day for a low carb day. Other days I have higher carbs. 
Um, I have down days and up days. I have days where I fast longer. I have days where I fast shorter. Every day is different because it's all about the balance, right? You can't just do all low carb all the time or I will end up the way I ended up before with keto. I can't just do all heavy carbs, high carbs all the time or I will probably gain back the 216 pounds. I was 216 pounds, right? I don't want to get there either. You got to find what works best for you. That's the point. I don't like fad diets. I'm no, I will never be on a diet again. <laughs> but it's okay to be, to do, follow the principles of some of these lifestyles like one day, two days, three days. Not a big deal. It's when you get into doing them every single day that they can be damaging. It's shifting it up, changing it up. You will be more successful at building a healthy lifestyle. It's so good. You know, the banana ketones add such a good flavor. It literally tastes like I added an entire banana in there. After enjoying that shake, I started my prints. So these prints are printed on the finest quality artisan paper with archival inks. And then I hand embellish them with different golds and um, shimmering paint colors that don't appear when you do a print of your original work. It's actually one of my favorite things to do is embellish these prints because they just come alive. So my next thing to do today is ship and package and ship all of the paintings that were sold on my website last week. So I get everything ready to hand wrap these. I personally wrap and package all of my paintings so that I can make sure that they are protected and they're going to arrive perfectly safe. And I try to make these so pretty and packaged up so that they can make perfect little gifts. Or if you're just ordering these for yourself, you can have a special little gift for yourself. I don't know. The gift wrapping is just something that's fun for me to do. So I like to gift wrap all of my paintings that are sold. And then once I apply some bubble wrap to these and add them to their box, I have some small ones that I'm packaging up. And then I also have a couple larger ones that are going out today as well. Um, but all of them go through the same process of having a handwritten card and a certificate of authenticity. And I've been painting a lot of minis lately. You guys have been loving the minis. So after packaging that stuff up, I went to lunch with Peter. And so I got this crispy salad, which is one of my favorite salads. It does have some corn in here. So while I am low carb, I still eat vegetable sources of carbs. I think that is really important for the microbiome. And I also had this uh, roasted red pepper soup. And so I have no idea how many carbs that ended up, but all I know is I didn't have any bread. I didn't have any potatoes. I didn't have any starch. Well, potatoes are okay on occasion as well. And then I had my vitamins, my millions and millions and millions of vitamins that I take that I probably don't need to take all of them, but I do anyway. And then I got to work putting together all of my prints um, into their packages to go out and so I also do handwritten cards for these as well and I try to package these up so that they can make amazing little gifts that are an original piece of work all on its own so every piece that is a print is a one-of-a-kind piece because they are all hand embellished differently and then I stopped over at the UPS store and got some of these packages out today some of them are going to go out tomorrow. You have a good day Clara? Yes. Baby. All right buckle up. Say bye. He out the window. And we're doing more construction on our house. So we've got our bulkhead in the back that is right where the lawn meets the water and it was starting to like bust out. So, you know, $80,000 later, we're repairing that. And then for dinner, I'm making some tuna for myself. It's an entire can of tuna with some mayo and some olives and some capers and some mustard. And then I add some Italian dressing to the top of this. And it really does make a very super simple, low carb, um, high protein meal. And then I did my lifting workout. So there, I crossed everything off my list on this day and I had an incredible day. So I hope you do too. And I hope to see you next time.